Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-January general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply for every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Capricorns, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Obsession by Kelly um, Rowland. And I haven't heard this song in a long time. So I'm going to leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading, if you so choose to. Now, when I was listening, or the, just overall the message that I got, and I had to write it down. I'm not sure if this is going to be a title, but I did get this. They, I heard they spent countless hours looking at photos obsessing over you. I'm going to tell you I'm getting this for a couple situations, either an ex or somebody who is interested in you. Okay, so if you're single, it does look like there's going to be somebody who is like getting ready to shoot their shot. For some of you guys, this could be happening in Aquarius season. Um, you did have strong Aquarius energy because Kelly Rowland happens to be an Aquarius sun sign. So this person, you could be dealing with Aquarius. Um, you could meet somebody new in Aquarius season. And I do get like there's an ex also. I do feel like there's an ex who is spending countless hours like just thinking about you. Like you have been on somebody's mind a lot or somebody has been on your mind. We are in Mercury Retrograde, so that would make a lot of sense here. Um, we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcana, which is the devil. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Yeah, somebody is, is like really in their head about, oh my God, are you kidding me? You, you guys see me just change the cards, talking about them. The devil. Does the devil not obsess with the outcome and how they want things to be? Holy shit. And this is you guys made your comment. This is something that's going to happen very soon. Very, very soon. Something's coming to light very soon. And I did mention Aquarius season. And Aquarius season is at the end of this month coming towards the end, right? Hmm. So that would be soon enough, right? Um. <laughs> so because you don't have a car in front of you, we're going to take the car from the back and then we'll take the car directly behind you. So right behind you has Seven of Swords, Liar, Cheater, Manipulator, Sneak, Conniver. In the very back, you have the, I told you, somebody's coming towards you soon. And I said Aquarius season, didn't I? With the world card, that is Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, okay? The world card also, I always get the World Wide Web. So somebody could be watching you online if you have social media. I feel like, you know, this person being sneaky. The Seven of Swords is liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, some type of deception. If you notice, all the swords are down, right? Swords, communication, and mental. So it's like somebody could be watching you but not saying anything. You know, the swords is communication, any type. You know, text messages, phone calls, verbal, whatever. Somebody's watching you, but you don't know it. You can't see his eyes. She has a mask on her eyes. And you see how this person is like sneaking away. But look, he's looking. And look how they're looking. Obsession. Like this person. Ooh. Okay, you know what I'm also getting because, oh Lord, I'm getting screenshots. Like, this person could be taking screenshots of pictures that you post. That would be quite dis obsessive, huh? Somebody that you that you don't know personally, like, say for, like I said, say for instance, if it's social media, somebody is, like, taking, if you post pictures of yourself, this person posts like, taking screenshots. They are. I'm going to say also, if some of you guys might have posted a picture five days ago or put some type of meme or something like that five years, five, five years, this person may have been following you for five years, but five days ago, this person is, um, it's a screenshots of something that you posted, but they're being quiet about it again, because the swords are down, you know what I mean? Sort of, it's just sort of down and no, and of course, swords communication and mental so this person just is like just watching just lurking they have access to you because they're you see how the, the gate is open this person has access to you somehow they do even if this is an ex they have access to you somehow you know how people say well i blocked this person from everything child please people will find a way they will find a way if they're obsessing the devil talks about obsession somebody's obsessed over you Somebody definitely has very sexual, strong sexual um, thoughts about you. Very passionate about you. Could be a Leo Sag Aries. Again, you got Gemini Libra Aquarius here. Also with the Seven of Swords. Also keep in mind, we are in a seven year. We are in a seven um, universal year, 2023. So I feel like you, you're you going to find out at the very beginning of this year that somebody is like, somebody's been keeping tabs on you. 
And they may be coming in very passionately. If you're single, somebody's coming in very passionately. I feel like for some of you guys, this person is trying to see if you're single. They want to know if you're single. And that's why they're keeping tabs on you to see if you post you and a significant other or something like that. Or if you somehow put out some type of hint that you are single and available. Again, if you don't have some type of social media, this person is kind of snooping around. Maybe asking people about you. Something's happening here where, you know... Somebody wants information. Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I would say you guys nice either going into battle or coming out of battle, but this knight clearly is very calm, very peaceful. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. Again, I'm getting like this person may be kind of keeping quiet until they know what's going on. So I feel like that this just gives me a vibe of like somebody snooping, trying to collect information. You see how he's collected those swords? Somebody's trying to collect information about you. And they're like very obsessive about it right now. Huh. Let's go ahead and part the deck. You got the Six of Pentacles. You know, Six of Pentacles talks about being breadcrumb. This could be your energy also. If you notice, this knight is moving away. He's not facing it. He's going away from the Six of Pentacles. Now, some of you guys may have left somebody because they, they were breadcrumbing you or put you in a third party. You do got three people here because this could also definitely be, you know, connected to third party. Somebody was found out. And so you decided to move on, you know, I'm getting that right here. But if that is the case, it's like this person has never moved. They haven't moved on. They, they acting like they're moving on. You see, it's like he's packing his shit and leaving, but he's clearly looking back to see what's going on with you. Somebody's still, somebody's still checking for you. Obsessively. You know, they're still, they're still trying to find out what's going on with you here. Could be involved with a Pisces. Pisces or Virgo, I'm getting the um high priestess some of you guys could have been married to or engaged this person let's get a clarify for the world card yeah this person has not moved on they haven't see that's giving me the same vibe as this because the eight of cups of bright is moving away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling in reverse they haven't moved away this person has not moved on at all they, they're lying and acting like they moved on and it's like that this person may have been quiet for a while so you thought that it was done and over with you could have separated from this person in july you could have been with this person for seven years or broke up with this person seven months or seven weeks ago. They're still keeping tabs on you, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords. Again, Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. They're trying to act like they're, they, they're not fighting for this, like they're not worried about it, like they're not checking for you, but they are. Sword up is yes, sword down is no. That sword down is like this person just isn't speaking there. They're being very quiet, but I'm saying again, Look at how he's looking back. This person's keeping tabs on you. Or you, them. Again, flip it to where it applies. Let's get clarified for the world card. Okay. You had quite a few. Yeah. See, this is someone that you know. I'm trying to tell you. Look at this. The very first card that flipped up is the Six of Cups in reverse. Absolutely. Absolutely. You could have had a children with this person with the Ten of Cups in reverse. You got two children there. You have the Seven of Wands in reverse. And it's interesting because you got two sevens here. Okay. So I really feel like you could have felt like this person was your soulmate, your twin flame with those two sevens. But something happened here that, you know, there's some, some bullshit happened here. With the six of cups, there's always somebody that you have history with. And if you notice, there's one person walking off, you know, off the premises, but they're still in the picture. That's what I'm saying. Like this person act like they, they're going to leave you alone. They ain't leaving you alone. So you have the six cups in reverse. So this is definitely something that has ended. You felt like you are moving on with your life, but this person has not moved on. And they, I, honestly, I don't feel like they want you to move on either. You may have them blocked on social media or block their phone number. And they want you to, you know, drop the blockages here. They want you to unblock them is what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck. Right, woo, okay, 777. Seven, seven. So you just have the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords here, and now the Seven of Cups in reverse. Now, the Seven of Cups is illusion, confusion. Um, someone feeling scattered, someone keeping their options open. But more than anything, what I want you guys to notice here. Is you notice how this is a person up under here, but you got that shock, like that caution, like be warned because you can't see who this person is. I feel like this is getting exposed. Like you're going to find out some, this person going to do something messy. <laughs> Keep in mind, we are again in Mercury retrograde and Mercury retrograde people get sloppy, you know, especially with communication. Like somebody could mean a text or say, Ooh, Capricorn. Somebody could send you a screenshot of something that you posted or something like that, and they send it to you accidentally. Huh. Mm-hmm. And you may end up finding out somehow. 
Or, you know, and I don't think people know this, and I, I realized this because somebody did it to me, and I was like, oh, how cute of you. So if you send somebody, like say, for instance, I send you a picture in Instagram in the inbox, and it's like an actual, not a mean, like you if you forward it from another account, but if I had something in my camera roll, and I sent you an actual picture, and you took a screenshot of it, it's going to send me a notification that you took that screenshot. People don't know that. People don't know that because when it, when the notification pops up, it pops up very quickly. It doesn't just stay. It pops up quickly. So you would have to actively like be in that account, like in that inbox and see it. But it'll send you a message that somebody took a screenshot of what you sent. Something like that could be happening. I'm, I'm getting that. Mm, somebody's getting sloppy. And I feel like somehow you're going to find out this person has been like, Take, I'm, I'm, I keep getting screenshots. Somebody's taking screenshots or something or stuff that you're posting. And you didn't know at first because it's in reverse. You know, it's hidden. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to get exposed here for a lot of you all. Again, if it's one of those things where you don't have any social media, somebody may come to tell you that, you know, somebody's been asking about you. Or you just, something that someone does, they're going to tell on themselves. I'm they're leaving behind some evidence. Like, he has these swords, but he's leaving behind evidence. Somebody's leaving behind evidence and telling on their damn self. And to some degree, I kind of feel like this person's doing it intentionally, to be real with you. Like, they want you to catch them. You know what I mean? Because when you think about the fox, the fox, like, you know how they have that saying, like, slick as a fox? This fox ain't moving. Foxes move very quickly, very swiftly. Because they're even though they could be predators, they also could be the prey. Because they're so small, smaller than most of other animals here. But it's like this person isn't trying to get away. Huh. That's going to clarify for the Seven of Swords. Very interesting story here. Clarify for the Seven of Swords. You, and also, because like I said, you had all the seven, 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 seven. Some type of good luck is coming towards you also. Mm -hmm. Star card, wish fulfillment and healing. Absolutely. Somebody has some type of wishes and intentions and want to come towards you. I'm going to say again, the artist who sings a song of session, Kelly Rowland, she happens to be an Aquarius. You have major kind of Aquarius here. So something, I feel, ooh, something. And then you have swords. That's Aquarius. Something is coming out in Aquarius season. I know this is for the middle of um, January. But you, if you think about the middle towards the end of January, that's Aquarius season. Something is coming out in Aquarius season. And I know this also because she's nude here. Nudity talks about exposure. Being exposed, being vulnerable. Somebody's going to get exposed. They're going to bust themselves out, huh? Ooh, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, you got the five of wands. Conflicts, arguments, disagreements in reverse, though. That's good. You don't want that type of drama. But, um, huh. It's it's almost like I just heard cutting off the middleman. It's, it's so interesting. I heard that because... Right in the middle, you see there's stars around that big ass star, but that one's the biggest one. It's like cutting out the middle man. I'm, I'm oh, interesting. So you got the seven of swords, but he's holding five, and then you got the five of wands here. Um, something could happen within the next five days, also. Somebody's birthday could be in May, it could be a May Gemini because you do have swords here. Whatever the case, you know somebody's exposing something or somebody's getting busted out somebody you I, i'm i'm definitely oh wait i keep saying screenshots so you see how it's like it's making me think about like the flash of a camera this right here somebody may be getting caught taking pictures of something that you posted and accidentally sending it to you or you may be a be careful because you may do this right like you may take a screenshot of something and send it to the wrong person be careful I'm also getting like, you know, because source communication, like somebody could be talking about, like, say you and a girlfriend are talking about somebody that's inter that you're interested in, or you could be taking a screenshot of something that somebody sent you, and you meant it, mean to send it to one person and send it to another person, but it, somehow it could be, you know, something that could cause some type of conflict here. And it, with it being in reverse, it's kind of like you could do damage control is what I'm getting. If this is on your end, you could do damage control. You just got to be wise, but something definitely um, surrounding Aquarius energy, either Aquarius sun sign person or something that's going to go down in Aquarius season. I, I definitely feel like somebody can expose in Aquarius season. I'm definitely feel like something is coming to like, I, I, I can't make this up. I keep getting screenshots. I keep getting screenshots. Somebody's taking pictures of something. And you know what? I also feel like somebody's going to tell them themselves. Like, say, for instance, even if you don't have that scenario where a screenshot is coming to you or you're seeing or finding out somebody's taking screenshots, they may say something to you when they do communicate with you 
to let you know that they've been watching you. Because you're going to kind of be like, well, we don't follow each other or I don't have social media or something like that. So how did you see or how did you know about that? You know what I mean? Like somebody's going to expose themselves. Because like I said, somebody's getting, somebody's getting messy. They're being sloppy. They're leaving behind evidence. That's what I'm getting. And, then, and Mercury Retrograde is the perfect time to do that. That's what happens all the time. I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.